magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Welcome back to Redeemed by Grace YouTube channel. And welcome naman po sa mga first time na nag-visit sa YouTube channel na to. And this is uh, Bible-based inspiration po ang mga pinapost dito. Anything that could encourage and build each other up, that is our aim for this channel. And yes, yeah, so I just would like to thank everyone for the support and even thank you sa mga nag-watch sa aking feature dun sa YouTube channel ni Manong George of Filipino Community Nurses. Thank you po for featuring me sa aking journey from being an HCA to band 6 nurse. And this is most requested po dun sa mga nag-comment, dun sa mga even nag comment sa akin sa um, Facebook Messenger ko po. Ito na po. Pasensya na at na-delay po itong uh, journey na to, itong video na to. But yes, as promised, ito na po. Okay, so sa video na to, this is not more of a technical side of things sa nursing. This is more of an inspirational side of um, my UK nursing journey. I know the stress of how it is to really achieve your dream and, you know, work hard for it. But then, if you always fail, parang nakakasawa na din, nakakapagod na. So, if you want an inspiration, you want some encouragement, this video is for you. So, please keep on watching. So, my journey... Uh, may be different from yours because my one started 10 years ago um, but I can assure you that God's plan works the same way it might be different like path depending on our needs and weaknesses and our strengths because he is our father in heaven but he knows what's best for us so he knows our weaknesses so if our weaknesses is literally not so good so he would really try to train us first before he will give us the reward or he will give us the desire of our heart so that once we have it once we finally achieve it we will value it and we will be good stewards of the that dream that desire that we, we will receive in the future yeah so i will go back from year 2008 where i was uh wanting to go abroad even sa pag ano ng agency it's really um ordained by the Lord. I'm from Cebu and there's this agency na uh, I thought na yun na talaga yung parang agency for me to go to the UK. Pero that time parang sabi nila may mga hearsay hearsay na pag nagpapabayad ng cons consultation fee um, it means peke yan. I, I'm not saying na at, at this time yun pa rin but during my time yun yung parang uh, sinasabi nila. So when I went to that agency, ta sabi nila, ma, my consultation fee po na 300. Ta sabi ko, okay. And then, God would always like impress to me na there's something wrong. And then, sabi ko, kailan po ba babayaran ito? Ta sabi nila, it's up to me. I can have my x-ray first and go back and pay for the 300 pesos na consultation fee. So, there's something in me na sinasabi, mag-x-ray ka muna. So, I went for the x-ray and then um, everything is done and then I went back to that agency and boom, talagang Alam mo yung parang yung na raid na style na nilagyan ng wood yung yung center. Ganun talaga and I was really scared that time. Alam mo yung nagbi-build ka ng dream mo tapos akala mo yun na tapos parang nawala lahat kasi parang feeling ko parang false hope ba kumbaga. Um I did I'm not saying na bogus yung agency na yon. I didn't I don't know the story behind. I haven't heard anything from them since that day. But then, what I'm sure of is that agency is not for me. So, praise God naman. It's really God's way of protecting me. So, after that, meron akong agency na nakita doon naman sa ibang place doon sa Cebu. And truly, that was a godsend na agency because um, we didn't really shell out a lot. Sabi ng agency, after 3 months na yung visa mo nandyan na, student visa kasi ako nung papunta ako dito sa UK. Um, it's a um, NVQ National Vocational Qualification, if I'm not mistaken, um, of in health and social care. So it's like a sandwich course in which you can work and study at the same time. Yun yung sa panahon ko dati. So sabi nila, oh, three months, three months lang makukuha mo na yung visa mo. I was just serving the Lord in the church. 
and gone three months wala pa rin and then sabi ko Lord paano to um, kinonfirm sa akin na sa UK talaga minsan minsan kasi tayo pag hindi nabibigay ni Lord agad yung desire natin parang biniblame natin siya tapos parang entitled agad tayo no na Lord sabi mo ganyan ganyan I shouldn't have acted that way before and then sabi ko Lord I was serving you in the church para bang it's so ungrateful of me na deep inside my heart I was blaming the Lord na at the same time nagigilty naman ako ganun pero alam mo the Lord has really a good plan um, I just realized nung nagpunta, napunta na ako dito sa UK kasi 6 months after 6 months pa lang lumabas yung visa ko imagine mo parang wala nang hope hindi ko na nga iniisip yun eh. I was just serving the Lord sabi ko Lord ikaw na bahala sa akin basta at least I tried kung hindi yun para sa akin wala, eh, wala din akong work sa Pinas eh. yung previous manager ayaw niya sa mga student I mean, ayaw niya yung mga worker na student visa, pinag-iinitan niya, um, pinaalis niya. So, wala ng mga student dun na time na yon, parang isa na lang yung nandun. So, praise God, nung pagdating ko, yun din yung pag-start ng manager na yon. And you know the blessing? Two weeks pa lang, may check-in na kami. na amaze nga yung kasamahan namin na nandun na matagal. Sabi niya, hindi, never niyang nangyari na two weeks na may check-in na agad. Tapos, yung nursing home na yun, yung manager na yun, sila yung nag-sponsor sa work permit ko. And it's it's just amaze me ba na how the Lord delays things just to protect me. Like sa agency ko, God delayed things to protect me. And even sa yung pag pag-release ng visa ko, God delayed na ma-release yung visa ko kasi He knows what's best for me and He's just protecting me. So, yun yung mga na-realize ko along the way. Every time na hindi mangyayari yung mga pinaplan ko tapos um, as I move on, tapos maibibigay sila. Sabi ko, okay Lord, kaya pala, kaya pala nangyari yun kasi you're trying to protect me and there's more, uh, far better plans you have in store for me ahead, yun yung mga ganon and then, di ba student visa ako tapos, the question is how I had my work permit so yung time na yun, yung, yung manager namin na yun, actually yung work permit na yun, it's not intended for me, it's intended for two of my ates which is, they're already in Philippines and I know the Lord has great plans for them too kasi yung time na yun, cut off na ng work permit, that was year 2009 or 2010 if I'm not mistaken Talagang, yeah, 2000, 2010 ata yun. Um, so, in two weeks time, magka-cut off na sila. And you know what? Yung sa, nung sinabi sa akin nung asawa ng manager, sabi niya, alam mo, kasi pinay yung asawa ng manager, sabi niya, alam mo sila, ano mag-work permit na? Alam mo, alam mo yung naiyak ka na tears of joy, na hindi mo alam bakit ka naiiyak na hindi naman para sa sa'yo yun. Sabi ko talaga dun sa ate, sabi ko, ate, I will just go to the toilet quickly. Tapos naiyak ako. Tapos parang sabi, alam mo yung parang nagpapasalamat ka kay Lord. Sabi ko, Lord, why am I doing this? Hindi naman para sa akin yung work permit. I even thought na happy lang siguro ako para sa mga ates. Kasi dalawa sila na I know they really need that work permit as well that time. Uh, prior sa cut off pala, hindi ko alam na nag-work permit sila. Yeah? So, um, I came in this country June 2009. Tapos sa January of 2010, sabi parang one devotional night, sabi ni Lord sa akin, mag-take ka ng English exam. It's really, really um, very clear in my, ano, it's very clear sa akin na uh, in-impress ni Lord. Tapos nagbabasa ako ng Bible. I'm just not sure ano yung verse na yun. It was long time ago. I think in, in Isaiah na go forward. God is with you. Sabi ko, Lord, sure ka. Mag-take ako ng IELTS. Hindi pa nga ako nag-review. Alam mo yung hindi ka pa prepared, tapos ayaw naman sumama sa akin ng mga friends ko na mag-take ng English exam, kasi nga first time din nila, parang natatakot pa sila, bago pa din kami sa UK, tapos para bang sobrang ambisyosa ko na mag-take ako agad ng IELTS, kasi June, tapos March, parang alam mo yung wala pa talaga, eh, nagsistudy pa kami noon, so, but then the Lord really, impressed to my heart very strongly pag take ka ng IL sabi ko okay tapos nagre-review ako hindi ko nga alam anong i-review ganun kasi dati um, to to be able to go to the nursing ano may refresher course dati eh, yung adaptation course 3 to 6 months ata yon bago ka makapasok sa course na yon you have to pass the IELTS exam 
Um, yung IELTS exam, alam nyo, may speaking, ano ba, writing, listening, reading. So, that time, dapat 7, band 7 lahat. Kung may below ka, you have to retake all the four categories. Which, in that time, sa writing, may 6.5 ako. So, I took it. Obviously, I took the exam, I obeyed the Lord. But then, the result came, may 6.5 ako sa writing. I was a bit disappointed. Kasi sabi ko, Lord, it was very clear na you impressed to me na mag-take ako ng exam. Tapos, bakit 6.5 lang to? Parang, hindi naman ako galit kay Lord kasi hindi pa nga nun talaga yung desire ko talaga very strong na gusto ko pang mag-nurse ng time na yun. So, after nun, nung na, may result na, inano ko na lang, tinago ko sa mga kasama yung ibang documents ko. So, nung tinago ko yun, that time na nag-cut off sila ng work permit, alam kasi nung kasamahan ko yung isa kong ate na ma nag-take ako ng IELTS, ganun ganon. So, yung cut off na yon, so yung week na cut off na yon, um, sinabi nung manager sa, yung asawa ng manager sa ate, isang ate ko na doon sa, ano, doon sa nursing home na hala, hindi makaano ng work permit yung dalawa kasi yung dalawa nga yung kasama namin kasi late na nila nalaman na kailangan pala ng IELTS eh di ba yung IELTS 13 days that time ha 13 days pa bago mo makuha yung result eh this week na yung ano yung IELTS uh, yung yung cut off ng work permit they had to submit it otherwise hindi na pwede tapos Sabi ng ate ko, sabi ko ng ate ko, kasi ka, ano ko yun eh, kay roommate ko, kaya alam niyo yung mga nangyari sa, sa, sa akin, kung ano yung pinagtitake ko na exam, ganun sabi niya, alam ko si Denise, merong IELTS yun eh, kaya, kaya yun, yun na yun, wala ako sa conversation na yun, pero, alam nung isang ate ko, kaya ako yung nabigyan ng work permit. Felt sad for my dalawang ates na yun, but I know the Lord has great plans naman din sa kanila. Um, kasi diba sabi ko sa inyo earlier na iba-iba yung plan ni Lord according sa needs natin. And they have family in the Philippines. Um, so, I'm sure, and now they're happy in the Philippines too. But I was just amazed kay Lord ba yung plan niya sa life ko na Kung hindi ako nag-obey sa kanya, kung hindi ako nag-obey na mag-take ng IELTS, kahit ako lang mag-isa, hindi ko alam yung paano i-review -re ito, basta, basta nag-obey lang ako. Kung hindi ko nag-obey sa kanya, siguro nasa Pinas na ako. Kasi a year after that, ano lang kasi yung ano namin, eh, parang two and a half years, years lang ata yung student visa ko. Parang tama lang na matapos ko yung 18 months na dapat na study studies ko. So, talagang, really, the Lord is good. Kaya napunta sa akin yung work permit. Talaga, grabe yung, ano, kaya nag-work permit na ako. So, after noon nilipat ako dun sa isang home kasi senior healthcare assistant na mag, pwede na akong mag-medication, oral medication. And then, dun na yung nag-ano na, mag-take na nga ako ng IELTS. Sabi ko, gusto kong mag-take ng IELTS. Um, pero, alam mo yung, palagi kang nafe-fail. Every time na, single pa ako nun ha, single pa ako nun nagpunta ako dito. Every time na fail ako, sabi ko, Lord, siguro hindi na. E nag earn naman ako ng money and yung ini earn mo na money dito as healthcare assistant, para bang, of course, hindi mo kikitain sa Pinas. do mahal din ang cost of living dito, pero kung pupunta ka naman sa Pinas, hindi mo naman ma-earn sa Pinas. So, para bang naging comfort zone ko na lang ang healthcare assistant, every time na ma-fail ako, parang sabi ko, ah, hindi siguro nursing para sa akin. So, matagal ko bago nakuha yung um, pagpasa ng IELTS. And then, um, nag-asawa ko, nagka-anak. So, in between that, nag-take ako ng IELTS. And then, nung nag-asawa na ako, it's always, my husband will always encourage me na taking the exam, um, the Lord will really give it to you in His proper time. Uh, Na-amaze lang ako sa ano ni Lord eh, kasi while I was struggling to pass my IELTS exam, it's God's way of protecting me and preparing me at the same time. Kasi nung nagpunta ako dito, di ba student ako, healthcare assistant, it means na personal care lang yung sa ano sa nursing home ito ha personal care walang mga oral medication tapos nung nag work permit na ako naging senior healthcare assistant ako um, oral medication mga ma, ano na ng GP mga social services mga gano na then nag team leader ako dun sa nursing home mas more pa yung yung parang scope ng ginagawa ko na, nakikipag ano ka pa coordinate ka sa mga district nurses mga ganun so Tapos, yung nagpunta naman ako sa hospital nung nag, 
after 5 years ko na, na resident visa na ako, na citizen ako. So, nung sa hospital naman, parang tinatry na ako ni Lord na i-refresh na naman yung mga mga medical procedures na uh, sa nursing. So, like catheterization, yung mga um, cannula, kasi every time, mga ECG na parang sa akin before... In, in, nakakalimutan ko na so every time na mga my nurses qualified nurses na gumagawa inobserve ko talaga sila and parang yung confidence ko nagbibuild na na nagbibuild yung knowledge ko, yung wisdom ko nagbibuild na nagbibuild yung alam mo yung pattern ni Lord na talagang from from, from bottom until sa papunta sa qualified nurse na talagang tinitrain niya ako kasi alam ni Lord din eh, na Kung nakuha ko yung 2009, yung pagpasa ko ng nursing exam, or yung IELTS, I mean, tapos na-qualify ako. Kasi God knows na kung ma-qualify, kung mapas ko yung IELTS exam, diretso na eh. Kasi dati hindi ganun kahigpit. Yung IELTS lang yung parang, yung hurdle ba nun, um, malaking obstacle, after nun, refresher course na eh. Kasi qualified na or licensed na ako sa Pinas. So, take ka lang, mag-sit ka lang ng 3 to 6 months na adaptation, then that's it. Parang, mabilis lang or easy lang pero alam ni Lord na hindi ko mawavalue yung blessing na yun kung binigay niya sa akin dati kasi I don't need money that time because um, nagpunta lang ako ng abroad to find myself nagpunta ako ng abroad just to earn money um, for myself na para mapotunayan ko yung sarili ko that time ha, um, there's really no urgency ba so parang hindi mo ma-value yung ano mo eh, kung wala kang purpose, di ba? That time kasi parang hindi pa talaga buo yung purpose ko na to help others, I want to be blessed. Kasi actually now, uh, the, the aim really na, na gusto kong mag six is to help my husband. Kasi my husband is a minister here in the UK. And if you're abroad, you're expected to work. Kaya my husband is expected to work, I am expected to work. So, para magawa niya yung purpose niya dito to minister to more people i need to level up because i know i am this thing to like um provide financially that's one of the role of pastor's wife i mean to assist and i'm happy and willing to do that so no nagkaroon ako ng purpose talaga and to bless others kasi ang ganda ng feeling na naka-help ka sa iba eh. yung dati alam niyo yung I love my job ha, yung nag-start pa ako dito. But then, if you want to bless others, parang ano pag, ano eh, parang alam mo yung nag-grieve yung heart mo na you, you want to give more but you cannot because even yourself, you don't have much. So, talagang iba. So, now na my purpose ka na, to help your husband, for example, my purpose is to help my husband do his ministry full time and to bless others mas meaningful yung pag-achieve mo ng dream mo um, like sa inyo siguro yung purpose nyo is to help your family back home make your purpose as your driving force to really achieve your goal and the Lord will give it to you in His opportune time um, so yun yung nangyayari kaya binigay ni Lord sa akin na yun kasi I, He knows that at this time I'm really willing, I'm really ready in my heart. So, merong iba dyan, nakukuha naman nila ng, ng, ng easy lang yung mga dreams nila. Why? Because God knows their strengths. Because in my case, I'm happy na hindi binigay ni Lord sa akin yung qualification ko as a nurse 10 years ago. So, otherwise, maybe malose ko lang yun. Kasi, wala pa yung value ko nun dun sa desire ko na yun eh. Kaya talagang, God knows best. There was one time nga nung hindi pa ako qualified like few months before ako na qualify kasi maraming mga taga uh, Pinas na nandito na mga na, na, na qualify na sila tapos ikaw nandito ka na almost 10 years hindi ka pa qualified. So there was one time na I was walking from the hospital going to our house. Parang naiyak ako sabi ko Lord ang dami nang pumupunta dito tapos qualified na sila bakit ako hindi pa rin ako qualified. Alam mo yung parang assurance ni Lord sa akin, sabi niya, anak kita, I know what's best for you. And then, I'm molding you so that when you get that desire, you will value it and you will be a blessing to others. Kaya yun talaga yung pinahahawakan ko, sabi ko, yes, hindi yung katulad na spoiled na anak ba, ba just for the sake of giving everything. So, 
hindi mababalue ng spoiled na anak kasi just na, for the sake of giving eh binigay lang sa sa dad niya yung something na yan ganyan so hindi niya mababalue but then because God assured me he loves me he knows what's best for me that's why he's doing it he's molding me diba na ano nyo from from scratch talaga HCA senior healthcare assistant team leader tas na HCA ako sa hospital tapos qualified nurse tas bansis talagang inaano ni Lord kasi alam niya yung weakness ko alam niya I'm not an achiever alam niya na magfi-fail lang ako along the way kung ibigay niya agad sa akin tong blessing na to so inaano niya yung um yung confidence ko even to talk to people kasi nung nag senior healthcare ako nag team leader ako dun sa nursing home my communication skill skills and confidence got better and better kasi nga i ha- i i've had to talk to um gp which, which is the doctor the district nurses social services lahat managers even cqc yung mga mga inspection bodies dito sa uk mga ganun so really the lord the lord's ways are higher than ours so if you are watching right now na you you still feel na the lord is not hearing you nagkakamali ka po the lord knows what's best for you just keep trying just keep holding on to that dream and if you have a purpose make that purpose as your driving force to reach that goal and the lord will make it happen the lord will make it happen so yan lang po yung ma-share ko sa inyo. So ngayon, I'm happy though the job can be stressful, but it's different when you have a purpose in life. Talagang mawawala yung mga stress mo. Always remember if you have stress at work kasi hindi naman mawawala yan eh kahit saan na work may stress pa rin so every time you're stressed at work as well always remember why you have why you want that dream why you want that blessing you will be amazed na you, God will give you strength His grace is more than sufficient for you so yeah so hope you get something out from this vlog this is not about technical side of things because I know you, you've had so much of it already but this is just to encourage you to keep going and to just don't give up when when you got that qualification don't forget don't forget your purpose and don't forget to give back so that's all po I hope you are inspired and all by God's glory and God's grace lang po see you God bless us all